Hey everybody, I am coming live to you again today. This is going to be episode 5 of the Traffic Safety Series. It's actually the last one. Um, today I wanted to talk about what you need to do when you are involved in an accident. Some people have never been involved in an accident, so I guess this would be a great time to learn. Uh, what, when you're first involved in an accident, what you need to do is first stop where you're at and make sure that everybody's okay in your car. Obviously, it's very good to get out of the car and actually check how everybody else is doing in the other car, too. Um, if everybody's okay, what you need to do is look where you're, where you're at in the inter um, where you, what your location is, which is basically looking at the next intersections, because you're going to have to call 911, and you're going to have to tell them where you're at. And a lot of times, from what I know, people have no idea where they are, and it's very hard to find them. Um, the dispatcher finds it aggravating because she, she, she wants to send help quickly and she can't and uh north and south we need to know where those directions are it's, most cars have a compass so just look up and see what direction you're facing in uh, after that uh get your driver's license and insurance ready because you're going to need that once the officer arrives on scene you can give it to them so they could uh do the report um you're going to want to also um, if anyone else is in the car, get their driver's license too, because everybody that's in the car is going to have to give a statement to the officer and be identified. So, um, uh, another thing I've really noticed, and I, I just want to tell everybody this, when you're involved in an accident, you don't have to stay in the same position you're in. We do so many accidents and we're trained on this as police officers that we can determine fault and it doesn't matter where your cars are. We, we, we can tell by damage. I'm an accident investigator. I've investigate accidents they call death, death or serious injury so I don't need to know where the cars are post accident so just move them off the roadway plus you don't want to cause any more accidents or get in another accident yourself because some, somebody isn't paying attention and doesn't see you so move off the nearest roadway um, at, once the officer gets there and the reports are getting he takes your information um, I would say it would be a good idea to take pictures of your car and take pictures of the other person's car that's just for who knows if that person has insurance right at that moment, so it's better off if it's going to be a, a civil matter where you're going to have to sue somebody later that you have documented where the damage is. I mean, the report's going to cover that anyways, but it's always just a better way to do it. There's actually another type, two, two other types of accidents that could possibly happen. The, the first one's um, a personal injury accident, and if that's the case, don't worry about moving your car off. If somebody in your car is injured or if you're injured, just make sure you know where you're at and can give that information. Um, to the dispatcher. Let them know what kind of car you're driving. If you can tell the color and make of the other car, that'd be great. And just stay in your car. Um, there's going to be a bunch of paramedics, fire engine, and police officers coming anyway, so just stay where you're at and follow the same steps I just gave you. Uh, the third kind of accident is a hit and run, and that's when somebody hits you, and or maybe you do this, and I would suggest not to because it's a misdemeanor, but um, say somebody hits you and then decides that for whatever reason they aren't going to stick around. So uh, what, you, what you would do then, I, everybody's got a phone on them. Take a picture of the car, take a picture of the driver, and take a picture of the license plate or write it down because uh, that's what you're going to need to get them prosecuted if they leave the scene of an accident and misdemeanor. So that's the first thing I would do. Automatically get the license plate. Uh, give that all that information to the dispatcher so officers that are in the area can look for that car and maybe if you if you know the direction you're going which way they went is great if you can, I don't suggest following them even though some people do that I, I really don't suggest doing that because you have no idea if that if that person are what's going on with that person they have a gun so it's just not safe get the information make sure you get the license plate and a description of the driver if you see them sometimes you can't even you don't even see them because it just happens so fast and I totally understand that um, that's pretty much it for an accident. If you guys have any questions, uh, comment below and let me know. Uh, this is actually the final one. I'm going to start a new series tomorrow, and it's actually I'm very excited about it. So if I'm going to be doing this every day, at a, probably about this time, or sometimes I go, at, I'm going to be doing it at three in the morning. So I totally understand if you don't, if you don't get up at three in the morning to watch, but you can watch a replay later. I'll post it. So I hope everybody has a good day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and be safe out there. Drive safely.